Rob, thanks for joining us. It's defeating your first game in charge, but can I get your overall assessment on the game first? Yeah, I thought, um, I thought we handled the first five, ten minutes well in terms of away from home. They put a lot of balls in the box. Um, I thought we defended the set pieces well, etc. Uh, things that we asked the lads to do. Uh, it probably wasn't as clean as we used to in terms of the possession. Uh, and, and you've got to give credit to Wickham. They really stepped on, made it hard for us. Um, and I think probably overall it was a little bit disjointed, which you'd expect. You know, I'm not going to, we're not going to expect after two days that the lads uh, absolutely get what we're trying to do. But I think the biggest thing for me is when I look at them, the work rate and the energy they put in and their desire to keep going was, was really, really good. And I think um, that gives you hope. As I said, if I've got, I said that to the lads, if you've got that work rate and that buy-in, that energy, we'll be fine because the talent they've got and the way we play um, will always come through. Um, but yeah, look, it's a tough place to come at any time. Um, and I think the thing we've seen for me personally is I've seen that there's a group of lads there willing to do anything they can to help and work and help the club <coughs> and, and me as well, which I thank them for. Um, yeah, so it would be nice to have created a bit more. We worked on the crossing and the zones and everything like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's football's moments. You know, we hit the bar when, you know, from things we've worked on in terms of Harry getting around the back and that hits the bar, doesn't quite happen. And then obviously you get punished uh, on a second phase. So, yeah, look. Um, ideally, we'd wanted uh, the perfect start and the perfect performance, but that doesn't come. That doesn't just happen. Right? It comes from work and time and uh, and uh, all the little things that we can get into the players. So, uh, but all I can say is, for the first two days, the players as a players have been fantastic in terms of the uh, reception and trying to understand what we're doing. Um, and I know we'll get better from from today. Yeah, obviously it's a league fixture and we're hunting points, but ultimately, I suppose it's almost like a training session for yourself, isn't it? Trying to get sort of your view on the lads in a game, sort of, I suppose you can do it in the training ground, but you're sort of 11 v 11 against your own squad. So it's the first time you've probably been able to see the lads properly in a game. So is that going to be useful for yourself, do you think? Yeah, definitely. It'll be useful for the lads because now we can review and explain what we're trying to do and they can see it in real life and they can see it and feel it on the pitch. Um, and I think also the, you know, we come in Thursday, which is a match day, sort of the recovery day after the game on Tuesday. And then Friday, match day minus ones. You can't do loads, but the lads uh, thought their energy levels were excellent, so you can obviously tell there was no sort of uh, sort of uh, legginess, I suppose, from that. Um, but yeah, like game Tuesday in the cup, which then gives players who didn't play today an opportunity to impress, which is obviously good, and it gives us a couple of days to really assess the boys on the pitch, uh, you know, where we want to see them and you know their traits and their triggers, and you know it's going to be take time for us to really understand the lads, but. Hopefully, from what I've seen for them for previously and what we've seen initially, you know, I think we'll be absolutely fine. I think it's one of them ones where we just have to stay together and not get uh, not get too too low um, because the result didn't go our way. Um, and same sense that when we do get it right and we do hopefully start building and kicking on, we don't get too high and get carried away either. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, it's the first game, loads to assess, and we'll take it from there. You can tell a lot of it's confidence, isn't it? I think if Harry had scored that chance in the first half that comes off the underside of the bar, it probably is a very different game. You can see at that point the lads are full of confidence and sort of by 60, 70 minutes maybe there's a little bit of frustration setting in. So is it a case of when that one goal does come, you know, we're going to start sort of clicking a little bit more, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's like anything, you know, goals, wins and that breed confidence. But the lads should take confidence in what they've done already this season and what they've done over the last 18 months or so. Uh, and that's the thing I said to them in there. I was like, don't be too disheartened because, you know, the ball, the second phase has come in the box and it's come back across and, you know, we can clean it up. We want to protect the middle of the goal. I get that. But it's not like we've been completely picked apart at times, you know. Yes, we know they're going to turn it down the channel, channel and they're going to be physical and they're going to put the ball in the box. But we dealt with that well. It's just a couple of things that we need to smooth up on. And obviously, the in possession stuff, we'd like to have had more control. Um, but ultimately, you know, slight changes in what we're trying to do uh, and the opposition as well in the, in the way they defended made it harder. Um, and yeah, there's, uh, there's nothing we can change now other than look, assess and then go again. Yeah, when we're done on Tuesday night, potentially a chance for you to sort of assess even more of the squad. So is that something you're really looking forward to sort of, you know, making some changes or not necessarily? But again, another chance for you to sort of put your stamp on the team? Yeah, definitely. I think the, uh, the lads need a... It's, it needs an opportunity for the lads who obviously they've taken on the detail who maybe didn't get as many minutes or many minutes as they would like or weren't on the pitch and I think it's fair for them to get an opportunity as well so then it gives us a chance to assess everyone uh, with a little bit of extra detail so hopefully we're a bit cleaner in what we do as well. 
yeah, and a first chance for you to meet the Crawley fans today. What did you make of them? They were fantastic. The reception I got at the beginning, and then obviously I think you can tell why this club's so special in terms of the journey we're on. Uh, that even when we went over at the end of the game, as the players and the staff, they still got to give us a brilliant reception. I think I think they understand as well. You know, I've spoken to a lot of people, fans, and at the club that you know this is going to be a long journey. This isn't the case that we're going to turn it around and win every single game in a row. You know, we're stepping up to a big level. Um, and we need to make sure that we keep working hard so that you know, come April, May next year, that's when you see the, uh, that's when you see the rewards. Uh, and I think for the fans, I just want to say thank you uh, from everyone uh, for the introduction, obviously, especially the warm welcome and after the game, because it means a lot, it keeps the spirits high and it shows that you know, what the lads are doing is, um, is spot on and that you know, this one or two, oh, three, four games, whatever it may be, obviously one game for us, it's not panic stations, we just need to reset and go again. Thank you, Rob. Ronan, thank you for joining us. Obviously, a difficult result here at Wickham today, but can I get your overall assessment on the game first? Um, it's a difficult, yeah, like you said, difficult place to come to as well. Um, I think there's a lot of positives to take. Um, obviously, we didn't score again, which is it's become a habit now. We need to get out of it, but um, I think we had a game plan which was new to us, new to obviously to the lads. Gaff has only been in a few days and a lot of information that was taken on board and I think we we went out there and, and done very well. Like at times it was obviously good there's some bad bits but there's always there's always gonna be bad bits but I think we were all so new to what we were to the information that was passed on and, and, and things like that. We were I think we were all a bit cautious of whether we're doing it right, whether we're doing it wrong and it kinda crept up on us a little. I think we just kinda we need to quickly take on the information as as easy as, as that may sound and, and and go from there but you know there's again there's positives to take it's just very frustrating that we've come away with uh, zero points again um, but there's work, always work to in, improve on yeah we all know that football is a confidence game there seemed to be sort of a spell in the first half where we were pinging the ball around really nicely unfortunately it was you know after we'd already gone a goal down and I think if that Harry Forster chance goes in you know it could potentially be a different game is it a case do you think of once it clicks it will just eventually click because you know as you say it's been frustrating for a couple of weeks isn't it yeah yeah I think you're right I think once it once we start getting the goals in we'll, we'll be we'll be we'll be more than fine um it's just getting to that point now um yeah, it's uh, it's a difficult period we're going through, but as long as we stick together, we, we know we're, we're more than capable to to uh, achieve our goals this season. Yeah, you mentioned we're in the start of a new era with obviously Rob at the helm. It's obviously very different for what, you know for yourself, especially as one of the lads that was here last season as well. It's obviously it's had different. How's it been in the first couple of days, and how do you see it going forward as well? Oh, it's it's um, it'll be it'll be very good. Um, like I said, there was a lot of information that we had to take on board in the last two days, um, and some of us took that quite literal. Um, which you know, we're only humans; we we can all we're all going to either make mistakes or I'm not saying we did, but it's just um, yeah, a lot of things to take on board, and it'll be very positive. There's uh, a few tweaks that we need to make and areas we need to improve, and hopefully we can do that as quickly as possible. I think a few chances we had today, we could we're this close to going in the back of the net again, and you know, focus on Tuesday and then focus on Saturday next week back in the league. Yeah, ultimately it's going to be sort of a new project, isn't it? Although it's sort of well reported that Rob and Scott's played similar football, as you say, there are going to be changes to make. So I suppose the message to the fans is bear with us because, you know, it is still early days in the season and, you know, it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to take a lot of getting used to, but we will get there, won't we? 100%. And obviously the fans are going to get frustrated as much as we are um, because they want to see us win and we want to, they want to see goals they want to see nice football and, um, we are it sounds very it sounds crazy but we are literally this close from being an unbelievable side, side sorry um, it's just that final bit um, and once we've got that I think we'll be uh, we'll be we'll be okay thank you very much that's right yeah. Yeah. Uh, right well, it's been um